Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the box office numbers so far for Terminator Dark Fate because they are embarrassingly bad at this point. It has been just an absolute train wreck for Paramount. <laughs> Man, it's it's so bad. It's absolutely so bad. Um, you know, tomorrow Odin will be posting his full-fledged video about this this past weekend's box office numbers and all of that stuff. So make sure that you watch his video when he posts that as well because that will be jumping into more nitty-gritty details about the box office. But for now, I'm just going to kind of talk about this because it's just it's laughably bad. It's it's horrible. So the box office predictions for Terminator Dark Fate are only getting worse and worse as now the film is projected to sink below a 30 million dollar opening dark fate the sixth film in the terminator franchise was primed to revitalize the iconic property and make up for the mistakes of past sequels featuring the returns of linda hamilton as sarah connor and james cameron as a producer fans and the film's studio paramount expected a big win and man were they wrong <laughs> they were really off on this one as the week has gone on the box office projections have gotten grimmer initially expected to open between 35 to 45 million those numbers dropped to around 33 million by thursday things got worse when during its thursday night previews the film only grossed 2.3 million dollars whoo that is oh Man, that's that's just terrible. Oh man, two only two point three million dollars. That's so bad. That is so bad. That put it on par with the previous for the previous Terminator film, Terminator Genesis, in twenty fifteen. Um, the rap has shared the revised projections for Dark Fate, suggesting the film might not even reach 30 million for this weekend. It is now expected to end up between 26 million and 27 million. On Friday, it only grossed 10.6 million from 4,000 screens. Like, this is like a level of just horribleness I haven't seen in a while when it comes to a movie. Holy crap, this movie is just tanking so hard. So, so hard. <laughs> it is now expected to end up... Uh, okay, I just read that, actually. Uh, let's see here. Where am I at? Which is a bleak number, especially when remembering preview grosses are included in opening day numbers. A 27 million opening would put it right alongside Genesis, which received a 27 million Friday to Sunday gross after opening on the Tuesday ahead of the 4th of July. Genesis went on to be a box office disappointment, grossing less than 100 million domestic though it saved some face overseas um so yeah like man it's just it's just it's so bad man and it's really confusing because this movie so far has a pretty good audience score it has an 84 percent from the audience so people are for the most part enjoying this movie quite a bit um which is just confusing to me i'm, I'm very confused by this movie I think that a lot of it just has to do with, based on the the marketing for this movie, people just don't care about this movie. There isn't really anything here that makes people want to go see this movie or, you know, go out of their way to go to the theater to, to see this movie. Like, there's just nothing here. Like, it's not really, it's not uh, necessarily even really a Terminator movie per se. It's about, like, the new Terminator and uh, new characters and hearkening in a new age of terminator and people just don't care people just don't care about that um i don't know if this is a sign that people are just getting tight more and more tired of of kind of reboots and sequels and all of that type of stuff if they want more original type of content like joker which by the way is absolutely destroying it in the box office i don't know if that's just like what people want it's more original t content which i wouldn't be surprised about like, you can do original type of stuff that will do well. I just don't understand why why people don't get that. And it's not because... I don't think that's because this film necessarily brings new characters that it's doing so badly. I think that these just are characters that people just don't care about. There's nothing here that makes people want to go see these characters on the screen. I know that I just don't... I There's nothing appealing about these characters to me. And especially, I think, after people found out all of the nonsense of, like, John Connor getting killed. I think that really you know made people want not want to go see the movie as well i don't know um there's a whole bunch of leaks about all that like there's there's a lot of crazy stuff going on with this movie it just sounds like a complete mess which is just it's it's weird to me why this movie has an 84 percent i just it i'm just wondering why 
Why does it have an 84%? What is it that people are enjoying about this movie? Um, I guess I can take a look here and see what people are saying. Um, Terminator Dark Fate had me worried for the first half hour thinking, oh no, it's the same thing we've seen before. But then Linda Hamilton and Arnold Schwarzenegger came to the rescue and saved the film, which, I mean, they are, they're the classics, right? The, the, those are the people that, that, the, that anchor this, this series. Um, really fun despite James, James Cameron's bleak future outlook. Um, well, this wasn't really James Cameron's movie necessarily. I mean, uh, Tim Miller pretty much made it his movie. So, um, anyway. Tim Miller was an inspired choice, but he manages a serviceable job and can't quite stick the storyline. Yeah, uh, I don't know. This movie just sounds like, like a mess to me. Um, yeah, uh, let's let's look at more of the audience reviews here. Man, this movie's just doing so badly. It was a good movie. My boys liked it. Um, entertaining movie from start to finish if you like Terminator movies. Um... I felt like I was watching a true Terminator sequel. Killing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's that right there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I'm just I, like, I. it just doesn't make sense to me why this movie is getting just such great reviews for the most part. But then it's just tanking so hard. I think people just don't care about this movie. Like, there's nothing about this movie that are making people want to go see it, which I get. I totally get that. Um, I don't know. It's just weird. It's a weird situation, but this movie is not working out for Paramount the way that they wanted to. It sounds like that there's a lot of, uh, just, uh, it sounds like this movie really took the last Jedi approach to it. They, they gave this movie kind of the last Jedi treatment where they kind of kill off the old characters and they kind of replace them with, with new fresh faces and stuff. And, uh, it, it's just nonsense. Um, anyway, We'll see. Um, like I said, Odin will be coming out with his more uh, official um, look at this weekend's box office. He's going to be breaking all of that down in his video tomorrow. So make sure that you check that out when he posts that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the box office numbers so far for Terminator Dark Fate. It's just it's a, it's going to be an absolute flop and just an embarrassment for Paramount. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, everyone. It's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have T-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.